Hello, crochet friends. It's me, Jonah, and let's thank your inspirations for sponsoring today's special show and tell. So today I'll be showing you how to make this cowl. And this cowl uses the split half double crochet stitch, also known as the waist co waistcoat half double crochet stitch, or just half double crochet to the center of your stitch. It goes by many names, but they're all the same. And it's a modification of single crochet, split single crochet, but instead you're using half double crochet. So it's a super fun stitch. And my favorite part is all the color work. And you might have to think you'd have to buy five different balls for each of these colors. One, two, three, four, five. But no, you don't. All you have to do is get one Karen Colorama in the Ogle format. So if I take it apart, you can see we have a cream section, a teal section, a gray section, a cerulean blue section, and a beautiful deep royal ocean blue. And this way you can break them up because you can come to these points and just separate them and slide them off each other because that way you can do all your color work with just one ball. And today I'm going to go over showing you how to take apart your logo and then how to work this color work and how to change colors with the base right here. So let's get started because you're going to love this cowl pattern. So to turn this into this, there's two steps you have to do first. You have to open up your ogo, snip it, and then you can, if you'd like, you can separate the colors by just finding the spot where they come apart, and then you slide them apart, but I don't want to do that with this one, so I'm going to set this one aside. And if I pull up my actual cowl here, you can see how you work up in segments, and then you work like these little staggers, but you can really do this however you want. You can do solid stripes, like I put a solid stripe in here and then finish it off with one. I put big stripes. I'm just going to change it up. And here it is if you go around. So as you can see, the seam is not terribly noticeable. It's right here, but that's just a natural seam. And here's the inside. So you can see all your colors are coming across, but you're working over them so you can avoid too many issues. Slide it back over again. So there's your cowl, and now I'm going to set this cowl aside. And now I'm going to pull out this one. And if I pull out the actual ogo I'm working from, you can see I've snipped it, so I have five colors. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can kind of curve it back again. And from this side, it just pulls, feeds out the center. And then from the opposing side, you just got to pull it off. So I'm going to curve this out of the way. And as you can see, I've already started off some color work here. So I'm going to separate up these strands. And I'll start by flipping it like this. You can see the back side and how it's so neat. So I'm going to start with my white, whitish color, more of a light lavender, light violet lavender, lilac, baby lilac. And then I'm going to take my 8mm crochet hook, wrap around. Angle my hook down, pull up, and then kind of pull that up for a looser chain one. And now this is where you're going to begin your split half double crochet. So you see we have our top two loops here where we normally go under for our double crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. And then you can also go through the back loop over here. But we're going to go straight through it, right through the heart of that half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and then work, lay this across the top of your work like this, this purple strand. Insert through the heart of that half double crochet. Pull up a loop. Just kind of shimmy it around, make sure it's nice and straight up. Yarn over, pull through all three. And that's a split half double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next half double crochet. Split it. Pull back up, but do not finish your stitch. You're going to take this a color put it to this side grab the color and have it come around behind it so that it kind of locks each other like this and then pull through with that color so you have these two stitches finished in your first color then you're going to yarn over now working over this strand lay it across the top of your work and start to straight to the heart of that half double crochet and pull up nice and straight and over Pull through three, yarn over, insert to the heart of the next half double crochet. Pull up, and now take this one to the front and grab your A through the back. Twist them to lock them. 
Yarn over and finish that stitch with your other color. Then you're going to insert into the next half double crochet and work a half double crochet. Then you're going to come to the next one, insert, pull up, hold it, switch this one to the front, switch this one and pull it back. As you can see, they twist to lock it in place. Pull through, hold this one down over the top of your work. And then work your half double crochets to the heart of your stitch, ensuring that you work over it. Because then you can see that we're just moving it to the next stitch. Like right here, we're going to go in, pull up, then we're going to switch this one to the front and this one to the back. And then you're going to pull through. And as you can see, we started with eight stitches here and it's continuing our pattern. And then you can see if I kind of pull it apart, you, you can tell the defined lines. But if I flip it inside out, you can see it's almost reversible, except for these little lines right here where you're joining. But otherwise, you still see your columns and the main point. And then, of course, you have your ends where you join the yarn. You started. And another tip I have for you is when you slip stitch and after you chain 60, make sure you work in the back loop because this is a very, very dense stitch. And this stitch is so thick because not only are you working in this post, so normally for four rows and half double crochet, it'd be up to like here with this yarn and this hook size. But since we're working in to the post down here, it's lowering it down. So it's kind of like overlapping your double half double crochets. So it makes it extremely dense. And then another thing to note is when you're working, you can change it up how you'd like. And you can either work from both ends of your ogo simultaneously or you can do what i did and just work from both ends instead of just taking it apart and coloring it up so i'm going through the middle of this half double crochet and then make sure your loops are all straight i'll show you that again go in and if sometimes if you pull up too fast your loops can like get like this but they're like not perfect so you want to kind of shift them over until you can see them all defined well Yarn over, slide through nice, and be very smooth with it. And if you have, if you're a tight crocheter in general, I recommend you might even go up to a nine millimeter hook. But I just I'm very good at staying loose, so I'm just pulling up nice and straight. Everything's in order. So I'm gonna take this color, put it to the back, lock it, pull this one down to the front, and finish off that pull through three. Then I'm going to go to my next stitch, insert, pull up, pull through two. Insert, pull up, take my next strand, lock it in the back, and pull through. So that's how you can see how our pattern started in the form. And this is where our seam is. It's a very good seam considering all the different color work you're doing. Now you may say, well, this half double crochet takes a lot longer than if I was just working regular half double crochet. But for the winter season, this makes it a lot thicker and you, it's a lot denser and more of a solid fabric. Because normal half double crochet can be a little more open, especially if you're working in the round. It's hard to maintain a very tight tension. So this you can see no light coming through, except for right up here. So that's because we haven't worked through here again. But at the bottom three rows here, it's extremely dense. If I turn it this way, you can see what a thick fabric that is. It's not like thick like blanket yarn. It's thick because of how dense your stitches are. So it's, a th it's not too thick of a fabric, but it's extremely dense. Because like if I stretch it and actually pull on it, it does not stretch. So that is how you work the stitches in this pattern. So you'll be able to turn your ogo into a beautiful cowl. If you enjoyed making this Fair Isle crochet cowl using Karen Colorama, where you can turn this simple five colored ogo into this gorgeous Fair Isle cowl that you can totally customize stripe width, stripe length, and all the different things you'd like to add. Make sure to check out the free written pattern, which I've linked to below along with this brand new yarn in the Ogo format, which is a bulky five. And also please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Jonas Hands and Yarn Inspirations. Have a wonderful rest of your day and crochet away, friends.